Hello and welcome to another Dynamic CCTV technical video. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of Hike Vision's handheld temperature screening device. This is the DS2TP31B-3 AUF. It's a cost effective unit in their range of handheld thermal devices. There is a higher end unit which has got a lot more bells and whistles on it. Uh, we'll be covering that on a separate video. But this particular unit's got a temperature accuracy of plus or minus 0.5 degrees and a, a reading range of between 30 and 45 degrees. It's designed for measuring humans' faces, foreheads, in terms of clarifying whether they may or not be suffering from a slightly higher than normal temperature. The images can be stored on an 8 gigabit micro SD card inside there. That can be take a capacity up to 128 gig. You've got a little trigger on the front which takes the snapshots as each person's measured on screen. A 160 by 120 thermal sensor. It's IP54 with a two meter tested drop height, so it's got it's made of sturdy stuff. It's also got a tripod attachment at the bottom, so you can actually have one of these in situ. And then obviously all you need to be doing is pressing the trigger as each person moves within two meters of the actual device. So a two meter measuring range. Generally you want it to be about 1.5 meters in height when you're taking your readings as well. And so if we just fire this particular unit up, like so, it's got a lithium iron battery inside which can keep the unit running for up to eight hours under continuous operation. So your initial screen there, you can see you've got various on-screen options. We've got our measured temperature there at the top. We've got the temperature format there, which is in degrees Celsius. We've also got battery status, SD card status, and also a temperature range there with min and max measured temperature on it. So we can quickly look in the menu by pressing the power button. You can see we've got various options from the top to the bottom. We've got our picture library there, which we'll take a look at later on the PC. We've got a rule option, and this allows us to dictate where the actual unit delivers its temperature reading. So we've got an option there which tells where the actual hottest part of the image is measured from. So we can measure from the center arrow if need be, or we can take the measurement from the hottest part in the image. I always favor the, the center cross being the, the area of where the temperature reading takes place because that's easier for you to control when you're measuring an individual in front of the screen. It also eliminates the unit measuring hotter areas that might be around the outer edges of the image as well and giving you a false reading. You can also ask the unit to show you the hot spot and also the cold spot on screen as well from that particular screen there. So we've got an emissivity set in there which is set to custom out the box 0.98 that's what you where you want to be for for humans it's about right for for human measurement but you can alter that if need be we've also got the measured temperature range there which is embedded 30 to 45. We've got our palettes here so you can move it through different palette settings i prefer to leave it on the default setting which is above alarm that gives a more conventional thermal image but will show coloration around where the hottest areas of the screen are We've also got an alarm temperature, which again can be edited. So we're a bit low at the moment, so we knocked it up to 37.5. Distance, two meters. You don't want to be under that, obviously, if you're holding this device, you need to keep a minimum two meters away from the individual that you're reading. Unit of measurement there, which is degrees centigrade out the box, but that can be changed between Fahrenheit and also Kelvin. We've also got our time and date settings there at the bottom and an, an auto off option as well you can format your SD card. Let's do a couple of tests. Well, first of all, we'll do a test on an individual with a normal temperature, then we'll simulate an individual with a higher than normal temperature. Okay, I've now got our handheld thermal temperature screening unit pointed at one of my colleagues. He's holding a warm bottle of water, and you can see that we've got a hotspot icon around that bottle of water, but the actual temperature reading at the top is based on the center spot, which is reading fine at the moment. If it was a situation where you were alarming it on the hotspot, then it would this would be an alarm condition because the warm bottle of water would be exceeding the threshold of 37.5 degrees that we set in the menu earlier. So I'm just going to take a snapshot of that, like so. If I now ask my colleague to move the water bottle up to his forehead, we can see an actual alarm condition generated from the actual unit. The center spot is now reading the warm bottle of water, which is creating an alarm condition. And you can see the reading at the top of the screen flashing in red, a 46 fluctuating degrees. I've also got the hot spot in that area as well. So this is one way of using the handheld scanner. If you were moving around with it mobile and reading people, then you can use the center point as a reference and placing it over the people's foreheads will give you a reading at the top of the screen. Also an alarm condition if that person's temperature was high. You can also get it to alarm off the hotspot, which is good if you're going to be using the unit on a tripod. As people walk past the thermal sensor, 
hotspot will be picked up by the thermal sensor and if it's again if it's an alarm triggering temperature then you'll get an alarm condition from it as people walk past the unit so i'm just gonna take a snapshot of this particular alarm condition like so okay so that's saved so what we'll do now is i'll take this unit over to my pc and we'll have a look at the two images once we've uploaded them so here we have our two images that we've just taken you can see at the top that they've been saved to the unit's SD card as a JPEG file, obviously very small in size, 240 by 320 resolution, so very small and obviously lots of them can be stored on the onboard SD card. Our first image there you can see, which was a non-alarm condition snapshot, you can see that we've got our centre point there measuring 36.1, so well within the 37.5 degree alarm threshold. The hotspot is situated on the warm bottle of water that my colleague's holding, so that is the obviously hottest part of the image, and that's measuring at 43.7 degrees there. So if that hotspot was around the forehead area, then that would trigger the, the unit into an alarm condition. The second unit on the right hand side is an alarm condition snapshot. You can see that the hot water bottle is now situated on my colleague's forehead. The hotspot has moved there with it, and there's also the centre spot, which is what the units using measure the readable temperature at the top there so we've got 42.9 degrees in red that's above the 37.5 threshold so the units in alarm mode the actual maximum temperature is a little bit higher than that not much but a little bit higher than that which is where the hotspot is and that is a, an example of an alarm condition image there so two different ways that you can use the unit one is to use the center spot as your temperature measuring which is the figure that you get at the top here or two to use the hot spot as you measured and also alarm triggering temperature as well so obviously depending on how you're using the unit that's entirely up to you but the two options are there there's obviously various other visual settings on on the screen we've got our temperature setting there in degrees centigrade sd card battery obviously my battery's on its way out there so it's shining in red we've got temperature scale min and max temperature we've also got again the maximum temperature at the bottom the time and also the emissivity setting as well within the actual image so there we have it that's one of our handheld temperature screening solutions that are available from dynamic cctv if you require any additional information on the handheld units, don't hesitate to get in touch with our technical support team or your account manager. Thanks for watching this video and please do like and subscribe to our, uh, our YouTube channel. We're releasing new interesting videos on the latest technology on the market. So thanks for watching and bye for now.